guys so today we are headed out to um, grab some fruits and vegetables for my hair growth yeah. journey on this postpartum hair loss journey here so yeah I'm just down this area now I'm gonna grab some fruits and veg to help me along this journey and also to get some hair products because where I live I do not see well they do not cater for my kind <laughs> with the uh, price right Lily what's good guys all right so a girl is all made up because once again I just literally finished um, recording whoa <laughs> yeah so I literally just finished recording another video um, which hmm I don't even remember what day it's gonna be up it's going up this Sunday so I don't know but anyway let's just get into today's video so um you know I see everybody's um comments you know I do thoroughly appreciate them I really enjoy reading everybody's comments and having that dialogue with everyone and you know the reason why I'm mentioning the comments as well is because you know I have had um, a few people left some comments saying that you know I should continue taking or I should take my um, postnatal um, vitamins post pregnancy vitamins and stuff like that and you know that the shedding will stop and my hair will grow back eventually etc now um, in my video, um, my one year hair growth update, I did share with you guys. Now, for those who are new to my channel and have not seen that video, I'll link it right here for you to go and check out. In that video, I did share with you guys that last year, July, I went to the dermatologist and um, was it? Yeah, yeah, it was July because I didn't even know I was pregnant at that point when I went to the, not lies, I'm lying. I knew I was pregnant. So last year, July, I went to see the dermatologist who advised me as well that I should continue taking my post pregnancy vitamins and she's saying that a lot of women like after giving birth they do not continue taking their post pregnancy vitamins and stuff like that and I was one of those women who never did that so on this occasion I thought to myself well uh, let me take these post pregnancy vitamins and hopefully I will not experience postpartum hair loss so Throughout my pregnancy, I was taking my pregnancy vitamins that I needed throughout my whole entire pregnancy, hardly missed days. So I was taking them every single day, pretty much. And then after giving birth, I thought I'm going straight onto my post-pregnancy um, vitamins. So I went out and I purchased this one here, um, Pregnacare Breastfeeding. But yeah, so I started taking this um, for two whole months, okay? So bear in mind, I've been taking my pregnancy vitamins throughout my whole duration of my pregnancy. And then as soon as I gave birth, I started taking these, right, immediately. And I've been taking them for two months. And I was like, okay, the dermatologist told me that if you take these tablets, blah, 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 more than likely you shouldn't really experience postpartum hair loss. She never blatantly outright said that you won't, but she insinuated that because I was not taking them, then that could possibly be affecting my hair growth, right? Now, 
I don't believe these things work. I honestly don't believe it work. Now, the reason why I said that is because if it did work, I should not have been losing any here because these are supposed to be giving me um, all these extra, what you call it. I don't know if you can see that. You know, it's supposed to be giving me what you call it, um, the extra nutrients and vitamins and minerals, all of these right here. That's all the vitamins and um, minerals that's in there, which is vitamin D, vitamin E, vitamin K, vitamin C, theamine, riboflavin, niacin, vitamin B6, folic acid, vitamin B12, biotin, blah, 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 blah. All right? So you got all of those things and... So it's supposed to stop or, you know, keep my nutrients levels up there. And it didn't. Now, the reason why I honestly feel it doesn't work is because clearly my hair fell out. Now, when I started juicing and taking my smoothies, juicing, taking my smoothies, back in the days I wasn't doing smoothies, but back in the days when I was juicing, right? When I started juicing, when I was, um, you know, with my second son after giving birth and I went through postpartum hair loss and I didn't even know I was going through postpartum hair loss, but I knew I was experiencing hair loss. Uh, my husband had showed me this um, app with all these different juices and I was juicing every day and my hair started growing back. So I definitely 100% believe that the nutrients that we're getting from our smoothies, because these are raw fruits that and vegetables, depending on what you, um, you choose to make as a smoothie, because these um, are raw fruits and vegetables that you're putting in your body where none of the nutrients are being diluted or messed with, it has more of an impact, right? Because with these, um, it's like a certain amount that they put in here and then, you know, you have the, um, what you call it, the bulking agents and all of them preservatives and stuff. Now, when it comes to the fruits and vegetables that you're juicing, there's no preservatives in there. There's no added anything in there. And you are getting whatever quantity that's in that particular fruit or vegetables going directly into your system as liquid. Now, I don't know if you guys are aware, but liquid seem to, um, they say liquid absorbs into your bloodstream much faster than when you eat food. So that's why I feel like when I was juicing back in 2015, I did see such a big, um, you know, difference in, in such a short, uh, get my words out, in such a short space of time. So when people are suggesting that I continue taking my post-pregnancy vitamins, I don't think these work. I really honestly don't think it worked because if it did work, my hair shouldn't have been falling out, you know? So this is why I honestly believe like juicing and, you know, having smoothies on a regular is more effective and will help to grow my hair back because like I said after my second son and I started juicing again when I started back juicing my hair grew back so much and I'll make sure to insert some photos to show you guys what I'm talking about so this is why I am more confident in this route than this route okay now if you guys want to continue if anybody else who's watching this want to continue with their um you know post-pregnancy and vitamins as suggested by the doctors i'm not telling you to stop doing that if you choose to definitely do your own research don't just take my word for it i've done all the research my friends know i'm the research queen <laughs> i research everything Wait, wait, wait. Before I go, let me just show you what my hairline is working with. I mean, not much has changed since the last time I did a video. When did I do a video? When did I? Oh, and also what I want to add as well is in my last video, someone had left a comment suggesting that, girl, could it possibly be your, um, your, what do you call it? This, the wig cap that I was using that could be, you know damaging my hairline now as i explained to that person no my um, wig cap isn't necessarily what is causing my hair loss as i've explained to um 
back in 2017 someone had um left a comment in one of my videos saying that it could be my head wraps that's causing me to have experienced hair loss and i've explained to them that that's not the case and once again i'll link the video above for you to go and check that out to hear what i have to say but this particular person was talking about my wig caps like could possibly be causing my hair loss and again i've explained to that person it's definitely 100 percent not my wig caps that's causing the um my hair loss it is certainly postpartum hair loss so for anybody else who's watching this i'm telling you believe me i know what i'm talking about this is my fourth child every single time after giving birth i do experience postpartum hair loss so it has nothing to do with wearing wig caps or wearing wigs or anything like that it's definitely postpartum hair loss postpartum hair loss is a real thing so just to keep you guys posted so you know what my hairline is looking like this is what it looks like when did i record my last video i can't even record but this is what it is as of ooh today look at that yo See, I'm telling you guys, you know, look at this. You guys didn't believe me when I said I was bald, right? You guys did not believe me. Look at this. Balding. Look at that. Let me get out of the sun because the sun will make this look crazier. So, yeah. Look at me. Boom. Postpartum hair loss. It's real, guys. It's a real, real thing. The reason why I've decided to start doing these like this and documenting and showing my hair is because when I did my first, first um, hair growth challenge and I was showing the results, I showed a clip of my hair. And I ain't gonna lie, I was so nervous. And I was like, oh, people are gonna make fun of me and blah, blah, blah. And all of this foolishness. And I was very self-conscious. Even like doing these series, I'm like quite self-conscious about it. But then I'm like, you know, at the end of the day, this is gonna help me see and track my progress and if it can inspire somebody else why not you know what i mean why not and so yeah um i thought i wanted to start just being fearless and get out there and show my edges or the lack thereof <laughs> But anyway, guys, thank you so much for coming through and, you know, chilling with me and enjoying these content. I'm assuming that you're enjoying it because I love how the comment section be popping. <laughs> and I actually enjoy doing it. You know, it's making me feel more like I can just accept myself, but I'm just not ready to just step out the door like this no i am not stepping out my front door like this i am not that confident i'm confident on the camera like this but to step outside with no edges mm -mm. not that brave i'll wrap my head up <laughs> but anyway guys until my next video um i will see you then and keep it popping in the comments below bye